Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you a squad builder roughly around 300 to 400k. Prices are fluctuating like mad, so by the time this is out, might be more, might be less. I will be bringing out cheaper squads, don't worry, because obviously these are fairly unreachable for most people. So in there we've got Leno, 15,000 for him. He's on the rise at the minute and it's hard, to, well, it's not hard to see why. 6 foot 3, all stats in the 80s, bar speed, which is 46 which is pretty bad even for a goalkeeper, but he makes up for it because the other stats. Two centre-backs, we've got Benatia, who has had a pace decrease this year, but still looks absolutely incredible with that 86 defence and 83 physical. I bought him for 10k. Boateng on the other side, 70k. He goes for about 80, so I got a little bit of steel, but his card looks ridiculous. 87 defending, 6 foot 4. Yes, please. On the right... We're going to move different league now. We've got Montoya on the right. He looks really, really good, solid. Um, I'm not sure what he goes for, actually, because I packed mine, but I assume it's just a couple of K. Yeah, it's roughly about 1.5. He's really cheap, 86 pace as well, and he's a very good player. Now we're going to go with a non-rare that I wouldn't have used, but it's just for chemistry reasons. And to be honest, he's not that bad if I can... Uh, if I can eventually find him, that would be brilliant. You know what? We're going to put the search criteria. I should have done this before. La Liga, there we go, it's this guy called Obran for Valencia, now he's only in there because of this centre mid, and I'll go through the team as I always do in the highlights, but we've got Enzo Perez there with really really well rounded stats, all in the 70s apart from physical which is 82, very very cheap as well, a couple of K I think, and then for the centre mid, uh, we're not going to go into La Liga, we're going to go back to Bundesliga, and it's going to be the best player I've packed on this account so far, Arturo Vidal, getting his Bayern Munich card, obviously, ridiculous stats, as you would expect, 86 rated as well, so he got an upgrade from his default card last FIFA, and he's around 60k, I'm a bit surprised he's not more, to be honest, because he is a really, really good player, now this player, I think, is a default centre defensive mid, yes, he is, there we go, we got, is it Gary Medell, uh, yes, um, he's really cheap, 89 physical, really, really strong. For a player who's only 5'7", that is crazy, crazy strength. Then, Akam, who I've used many, many times. I really do like this upgraded Pereira. I liked his man of the match last FIFA. He's about 11k, 6 foot, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. The perfect Cam on FIFA. Then the two strikers, another one which I have used before, so I do apologise for that. But I'm going to be using a wide variety of players, obviously. But Dybala, really, really overpowered. He's around 20k at the minute. He's went up, but 80 shooting, 87 pace, and 87 dribbling. And then the main reason I built this squad is to get Carlos Tevez in there. Obviously, that Boca Juniors card. When I packed him, he was 20k. Now he's roughly about 50k. And that's because of the stupid stats. He's got 88 dribbling, 88 shooting, 87 pace. This guy's a monster with 84 physical as well. So anyway, let's get into the highlights. Alright, so this team is really, really good. I did enjoy it, but there was a couple of slight uh, disadvantages. I'll probably say, even though the attack is really, really good, it doesn't have a lot of height, so it's kind of hard getting any crosses if you do like that kind of uh, style, I suppose. But that's probably why I've got it as a 4 3 1 2, so there's no wingers, so it's not really necessary. And also, they're a bit weak sometimes. Uh, Tevez and Dybala are pretty similar players. Tevez is a little bit better, as you would expect, though. He's really, really good, and sometimes he does have a bit of strength to battle off the opposition. It's probably his low centre of gravity that he does have that helps with that and his insanely high dribbling stats. But yeah. Overall, a really fun team to use. The movement around the players is really, really good, all right? It's easy to find a pass. There's always runners off the ball, so you're never stranded. Midfield's quite strong as well. I like Gary Medell there. He sat back a bit, let Vidal get forward a little bit more, and it, it just worked. Enzo Perez is a very strong, well-rounded, cheap, centre mid as well. The left back really did surprise me. Uh, I forgot what his name is. Is it Diggum or something? But yeah, a very, very solid player for, you know, discard price. He wasn't amazing, but he did the job. He didn't really do much wrong. Boateng and Benatia seemed to complement each other really well. Benatia obviously sitting back a little bit deeper and Boateng getting forward a little bit more, but he's got the pace to get back. And uh, yeah, the goalkeeper Leno, oh my god, he is the best goalkeeper I've used so far. I've only used about five, six goalkeepers, but he is absolutely tremendous. Honestly, well worth the 15 or 20k, whatever he is now. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and yeah, peace.